Well hello and welcome back to Shane's Hobby Shop. Today we're going to do an end table for the living room. Now the plans that I got, I actually got off of Anna White's website. And I will leave a link in the description below to where you can go directly to her webpage and get her plans for it. But I went ahead and made one adjustment to the plans. And what that is, is I wanted an oversized top on it. And she don't have that. So I went ahead and done that. And I made up my own PDF plans for it. I also included a cut list where you can see what you need to buy and where you need to cut it at. Now these plans are like I said PDF. Now I don't believe I can put a PDF on Facebook but I can do it on my uh, Patreon page. So I will leave a link in, uh, in the description below and also at the end of this video where you can go click on my Patreon and become a member and I will give you these plans for free. Alright so let's go ahead and build this and I'll walk you through everything I'm doing. All right, let's get started. Now the materials I'm gonna be using to build this end table is gonna be a two by six and some edge glued board. Now I know not everybody got access to edge glued board and even the 2 by 6 well that's kind of overkill so the plan that I got is going to be using plywood and 2 by 4s the reason why I'm not using 2 by 4s is because well frankly our big box tour 2 by 4s look like a uh, I don't know a chipmunk made them so <laughs> so 2 by 4s would look terrible 2 by 6 was better so I went ahead and got me a couple 2 by 6s and some edge glue boards alright so then, like I said, although the plans will call for plywood and two by fours, but this is what I'm going to use. But you can still follow along, everything's still going to be the same. Alright, so let's go ahead and start cutting all this up. Okay, let's go ahead and take your two by six, and we're going to go ahead and cross cut them all down to length. What we're going to have is a couple of little boards looking something like this, and also some smaller ones. After we get these cut down to width, let's go ahead and rip them. We're going to want it to be one half by one half square. Alright, that's what's going to be looking like this. Now then, for the legs, you're going to need four of these at 26 inches long. And for the, uh, uh, the back and the face trim, you're going to need 12 of these at 17 inches long. Alright, so let's go ahead and make those up. are going to be cut on edge glued board. Now you may be using plywood but that's okay it's going to be the same cuts. But I'm going to go ahead and use edge glued boards and one of my boards is kind of long so I have a drill that actually converts into a little saw. So I'm going to cut that one down because it's kind of big and then the rest I'll go ahead and cut those on my table saw. Alright so I went ahead and got a fence set up so let's go ahead and cut this one board and then we'll finish cutting the rest of them. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, assembly time. Let's go ahead and put this together. Now we'll be using pocket screws, wood glue, and some deck screws. Now on my PDF form, I do list where the actual pocket screws are going to be located at. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so far you went ahead and got your three sides, well should I say two sides and one back. You got a two or two on top and a two or two on bottom. Now let's go ahead and take two of those sides. Leave the back out of this. 
You got a couple of small strips here. I guess these are one by twos, I guess they are. Okay, let's see if I can put this on camera here. The bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and butt it up there, put it down there. That is gonna be for a drawer pour later on. Drawer, drawer pull. I'll say that in a minute. Another one, go from the top four inches down and put it there. Also, drawer pour, pull. I'm gonna take some, leave me alone. All right, let's do that. Okay, this is where we at. Went ahead and took your two sides. Went ahead and you should be looking just like this. Alright? Now then, let's go ahead and take those two sides again. With the longer 2 by 2 these are the legs. Let's go ahead and put them on the sides. Uh, this one's going to be the bottom. So you're going to want it to be an inch and three quarters up from the bottom, okay? Right here should be an inch and three quarters. I forgot to put that on my plans. But let's go ahead and do that. And then we're also gonna put another brace up at the top. All right, so let's do that. Okay, are you still with me? Well, let's find out. What you should be having is two of these panels right here. This is going to be the actual top. You have to add this board and this to the two legs. Now, if you turn it around, this is what the pocket hole been. You have to add that extra board down at the bottom and in the middle. All right, so you made two of these up. Is that correct? All right, now then we're going to start putting all these together. Take that third panel that looks just like this, nothing else on it. That is the back. We're going to put it, so we're going to do this, put it right there along with the other side. Okay? Okay, something like that, but yet the back's going to be up a little bit. Should have four more of the two by twos left. One's going to go back here, up front, and then here and here. All right, so three here, one in the back. Now, on the plans, I said make sure that your pocket hole screws for the top board is facing upwards. And the reason why we're going to do that is because there's going to be a top up here. These others here are facing on the inside, so we're going to keep that. Front one, let me face it inside. This, facing inside. Facing inside. Okay? If for some reason you can't do them inside, they are okay facing down. Alright? Pocket hole screws, facing down or inside. But let's try to do it on the inside. Alright? Let's go do that. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, here we go. We're almost to the end now. This is what we're looking at right now. Went ahead, got the auto, auto frame on, all the walls on, pocket screws, wood glue, and it's going good, good so far. Next, we're going to put this shelf on right here. This is it, 17 by 17. All right, the bottom side, you got your pocket screws. Now, this is going to be a very tight fit. My suggestion is first you play around with it, keep twisting it until you find a spot that it fits in. That's that tight fit. To find where it fits in, you might need to do a little bit of sanding on pieces just to get it to fit. And then number a corner or side. So I got a little number one there and I got a one over here. I told me that this lined up here and it fits in perfectly. Alright? I'm going to put some little bit of glue on the inside here edge. Go ahead and put your pocket screws in. Pop it down. Screw it in. Okay, here's where we are right now. Went ahead and got it all plumbed up. Now then, this little opening right here should be 17 inches wide and also 12 and a quarter inches tall. If it ain't, I need you to measure this out because this is the next piece you'll be doing. This is the only one, one by two that you got left. Only one left. We're going to go ahead and pocket screw the bottom side. This is your drawer spacer, I guess you want to call it. It is going to be going directly in the middle here. Now again, if this is 12 and a quarter, what I want you to do is measure from the bottom up to this, be five and three quarters. We'll make that five and three quarters too. But if yours don't make that measurement, go ahead and match, just make sure this is centered up in here. Okay? Now then, the only part that I changed on these plans is the shelf right here. On Anna White's uh, plans, she got this shelf here and also one right here. I didn't want that. I wanted an oversize. This is the oversize. Alright? So, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to be rounding over these edges. But Mom didn't like these corners. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take a quarter, put it on here, kind of uh, take off these points here. And then I'm going to round it over on the router table. Okay? And then that is going to go right up here. And we don't have pocket screws for this. Instead, I'm just going to screw straight into here. All right? Hopefully I got enough room here for my drill. I don't know yet. But yeah, that's how we're going to do that. We're going to screw straight in from the bottom directly to the top. That way the top side will be rounded over and we'll get off these points. Then we're going to be working on the drawers. But let's go ahead and do this for now. Alright, let's get busy. Alright, here we are. It's the only thing we got left of the build. And what these are, it's going to be a couple of drawers you're going to be adding to the uh, unit. Now, this is another addition that I did uh, modify on Anna White's plans. Her drawers are a little bit too skinny, and so I widened these up a little bit. That way, you can have a half inch on each side of the drawer for the drawer pull. Alright? So, just did that. And now, I'm not going to show how I built the drawers. They're pretty self explanatory. Uh, but I will tell you that when we put it together with wood, wood glue and nails, except for the front side, I don't want no nails going through the front. So on the sideboard and also on the bottom, I'm going to use pocket screws on that, just so it will connect to the front and not see nothing on the front. Alright, now mom don't want no finish on this, she wants to leave it naked to start matching the rest of the stuff that we're building for the living room. Now, we'll put a finish on a sealer on it, but not right now. I'm going to wait. we got some bad weather right now, so I'm going to let that pass. And then I'll put a sealer on it, but we're going to leave it as plain as possible. All right, so let me go ahead and get this done. Next time you see me, it'll already be finished with the, with the jaw pull on it everything. All right, we'll see you soon. Okay, here you go. The finished product. Of course, we've got the oversized top on it. I got two drawers on it, on drawer slides, not drill pulls. But yes, I know I got that wrong a while ago, but they both work. I got the other one. Comes up pretty nicely. Comes, it goes in a little. Middle shelf. Like I said, it's still naked wood right now. We got still got bad weather, 
but hopefully within the week I'll be able to put some copper uh, finish on here to seal it up but we're gonna leave it plain wood though all right uh, give me a few days to put the uh, plans up on my patreon page but please go ahead and click on our patreon become a, become a member of my patreon and then you'll have the PDF plans for this here along with the uh, cut list so you can understand where to cut your boards at and what all you need my name's Shane, this is Shane's Hobby Shop, and we will see you next time.